think what's really exciting is that, that we're really getting we're getting a better feel for the translational aspects of the work. So a, a lot of the science is obviously important and, and understanding those basic mechanisms in, in the various forms of EB. But now those researchers who have been in the field for some time are really thinking about how to deliver those uh, basic research findings to the patients. And it, it's not a straightforward, very quick delivery. These things take time. But I think this conference in particular helps you understand the steps that you need to take as a basic researcher to eventually deliver that, that, um, that clinical translation. All the different therapy development projects are very interesting. Also because we now know much more about mechanisms of disease and we have found new targets, we understand mechanisms better and those studies have now revealed completely new targets for therapy. So we have very different options at the moment, from curative therapies, which are difficult and will take time, but we also have symptom relief, disease, modifying therapies, which will, can be implemented quite soon. Things are changing dramatically. It's really quite amazing that over the last three years, the amount of new science, new science that's relevant to people with EB, it's really just propelled the topic forward. And really now we're at a stage where we can begin to think, let's not just do some science in the lab, let's try and make a difference for patients with EB. I can really see a difference over the last three years in making a transformation of science into something that will help patients. If I look what's happened over the last 20 years, so much has happened in terms of what actually might bring treatments closer for patients, um, characterising the disease better, following the progression of it, and using many, many different strands, be it cell therapy, gene therapy, protein therapy, to work towards actually making things better for the people that matter most, who are the patients and, and their families who are caring for them. I started working on EB about uh, three decades ago, uh, just after I moved to Jefferson in 1986, and we come a long way since then in different areas of uh, uh, research. This particular meeting is really highlighting the quickening pace of research, not only in the, uh, in the basic science area, but uh, we actually are at the stage where we are ready to uh, direct that basic science pipeline to the translational level and uh, perhaps having um, more of the early clinical trials coming, coming up. Already clinical trials of new treatments have started for EB at last and that because I've been involved in clinical studies for over 20 years I've been waiting and waiting for this to happen in EB so that for me is the best thing. We're almost at a point where we can offer to all EB patients the opportunity for gene correction type uh, clinical um, therapies which is amazing, absolutely amazing. The other thing is that as I'm a biologist, I'm interested in how cancers invade, and we know that the area around the cancer cells is very important, the bit that the tumor cell sits on and the blood vessels and all the cells that come in. And we know that the way that environment, all of that area, changes in EB is extremely different to other types of cancers. And we know that that environment helps the cancers to invade and spread. And we are finding more and more about the biology that makes me think we're going to understand that in the next three years, so that in three years' time, perhaps we're talking about new therapies based on targeting the environment around the tumour cells to stop them actually invading. I think the, the most amazing thing I've seen at this conference is the work that everybody is doing on the less obvious problems of EB. So there's a lot of people that are looking into the different, the therapy, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. The, the more the more complex things that happen. Um, but what the patients need now, actually, yeah, that's I think there's a lot of progress yeah. in that. Thinking of uh, the use of um, cell therapy for recessive dystrophic EB, and uh, uh, groups like uh, Professor John McGrath and like um, uh, Professor Jacob Toller have shown how how mesenchymal stem cells can have a, a, a powerful impact on uh, skin regeneration. 
Um, also, we don't understand the full story at the moment because the uh, clinical uh, data are only preliminary in terms of mesenchymal stem cells. I'm thinking about uh, Professor John Macra's uh, recent clinical trial in which he uh, infused mesenchymal stem cells to, to, pay to children with uh, recessive dystrophic EB. And also, this didn't lead to re-expression of type 7 collagen. This uh, led to a significant uh, improvement in the, in, the condition, in the general condition of the patient with reduced uh, skin inflammation, with reduced pain and itching, and uh, children um, uh, started to be more active, to run, and to really to, to show evidence for uh, a better comfort. I remember back when that was just a pipe dream, clinical trials, and now it's happening and it's a reality. And I think that's the most exciting thing because many people, many parents, uh, you know, thought that would never happen, never happen in their kid's lifetime, and it's happening. There is a tremendous amount of dedication and commitment to the disorder. Um, you know, I, I have seen a lot of uh, researchers talk the talk, but this is a group of people that um, have committed 30 years of, of their life, 20 years, um, uh, training others, getting very involved, pushing the, collabor the collaborative aspect of it. Um, so, so for me, that is incredibly exciting, and I think that's what's really led to the incredible you know, amount of progress that we've made in the past four or five years. Back in 96, they told us in five years we'll have clinical trials, and so we were all excited. And so we, we, we hear this, this message every, every other year. It, it, it will take only five years to the trials, and now we are there. So there's not only one trial going on, but lots of trials. So this is very exciting for all of us.